to be in the camp. Now that takes you. I need your help to find the lieutenant. Our soldier friend said he saw Napoleon El Pequeño's private island. So you and me are going to take a boat from a dock in Siniestra to Cayo Villarreal. We take out this Singao and Jose's whole operation crumbles. But keep this between you and me, okay? Papa's got enough stress to deal with right now. See you at the boat. Binga. Well, I'm still breathing. Taking a lot of risks for one lieutenant. You want to complain? You can swim. Nice boat. Is it yours? No, I stole it. Papa taught me how to hotwire tractors when I was a kid. Boats aren't so different. Hey, we have to get Carlos a doctor. Hmm. Good luck. He's coughing blood. He needs help. Papa took me fishing once, south of Costa del Mar. He's a hell of a rancher, but a shit fisherman. No patience. Couldn't cast. Kept snagging his line on the bottom. Even hooked himself in the lip. <laughs> Got so pissed, he threw a stick of dynamite in the water. Killed a lot of fish, but also put a fucking hole in our boat. We swam five kilometers back to shore. All these boats stopped to help, but Papa told them to fuck off. What does this have to do with Carlos being sick? I'm saying that the day Carlos Montero gets help, it's the day hell freezes over, Danny. Coño, you Monteros are stubborn. Not me, just Papa. <laughs> 
Sure, sure. Shut up. Fucking tobacco. You were supposed to make our people rich. That's what Anton said anyway. See? That's how he got elected. Yes, and a lot of us voted for him. We believed in his promises. We thought it was going to be like the old days again. Like some kind of fantasy. We were so fucking wrong. If we want to change things, someone has to whip us all into shape. Bring us together. And it's not going to be Papa. So Carlos doesn't have a plan. His plan is don't tell anybody what the fuck you're feeling, ever. Don't trust anybody either, especially your own daughter. Just fucking react to whatever Napoleon el Pequeño throws your way. He's old school. Reminds me of my headmaster in the orphanage. Strict, tough as shit. But if he liked you, he had your back for life. Hmm. That kind of thinking is gonna get us all killed. We can't keep reacting to Jose. It's not working. We need to try new things, be agile. Stay one step ahead of that little hijo de puta until he's dead. I'm with you. Good answer, Danny. Mexican. Tobacco out here has been vivido. Can't even smoke our own anymore. Come mierdas. Shit. ¿Qué pasó? Say fucking Castillo. Anton's bitch of a nephew. Lo veo y no lo creo. What's he doing? He's, uh, he's... With the lieutenant we were looking for. It looks more like a scientist. Stick us there. No, no. You might hit the lieutenant. where that scientist is going. Let's search his place for intel. Let's go. Maybe his friend by the helipad can help.
It says Jose has a villa on the north side of the island. Jose's got a computer around here. Here! Yes! No password, idiota. Let's see what we got here. El Pequeño has a fucking torture chamber filled with outcasts. It's under the lighthouse just south of here. Cojones. Can you let me in? Done. I'll stay and see what else I can find. Suerte, Danny.
Hoy hiciste algo bueno, gracias. Ya. Pero ahí tienen duda. Untie me. Gracias. José es un monster. I shouldn't have gone out today. Espada. José was using this place as his own little torture chamber. He had outcasts in there, but I freed them. Enfermo mental. I shouldn't be surprised. Good work, though, Danny. I found where that scientist works. The Singao we saw earlier. His lab's in Refmira. Meet me there. Okay. Then how are you gonna tell me what's really going on? You'll know when I need you to know. <laughs> 